Hey planner peeps, thank you for coming to my channel. Today I get to do a plan with me. I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm gonna stamp in my Hobonichi weeks. So if you're interested in that, stick around. I got two new stamp sets from the Sassy Club and this super spring cute um, swan stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I'm gonna be using Versa Magic Midnight Black Ink. And the first thing that I like to do whenever I'm setting up a new stamp set is to get some packing tape and tape the two acetates together because it kind of protects my stamps and keeps some of like the dust out away from them to protect your images because you want to get the clearest image possible. <laughs> Um, also what they say to do is get an eraser and like rub it behind the stamp set. I don't know why people say to do that, but I'm just sharing the tip with you. I have to research that one. <laughs> but then I'm going to go ahead and put it on my block and then I'm going to ink it up as best as I can. You want a lot of ink, but not too much ink so that it gets like really juicy. Now, one of the biggest things that I was concerned about in stamping in my hobo is that it's a book. And from what I've learned is that you need a flat surface to get the best image. So to rectify that little problem a little bit, I used my cutting mat, which is really thick, underneath the page, and then kind of held my fingers um, over the page while I stamped with the other hand to kind of keep the paper from flying up and from moving around. And that sort of helped. I mean, I'm really happy with the way the images came out. So um, that's just another quick little tip for you guys. See how I'm using the, my fingers to kind of hold the paper down while I stamp? I was really concerned with stamping in a book because um, my experience with stamping has usually been in the mini happy planner and you can take the pages out and then I would just put it on my table. But now I'm learning all over again, but I'm really excited about it. So there's another little thing that I wanted to show you here. On Thursday, my image didn't come out quite too clear. You see how parts of it are missing. So what you could do is get like a black marker or like a black pen and then go over those little um, parts that didn't come out too clear. So, or whatever color ink that you're using. I like black ink because I kind of think that um, images look like cartoony, I guess, when they have like a little outline on them. But anyways, yeah, that's just another little tip for you guys. I am so loving how this is going. And the Versa Magic ink is really good in this book. Um, I didn't find any bleed through. And for me, that's big. Um, I don't mind the shadowing in the hobo. Actually, I love the hobo, so I'm willing to deal with any kind of shadowing. But the bleeding, like the any time that it bleeds through, it bothers me. And with the Versa Magic inks, even using black, midnight black, um, they did not bleed through. So then I got these washies out, and I thought I was going to use all of them, but I landed up only using the two bottom ones. So here I'm going to go ahead and lay down the bottom washi, and what I should have done, hindsight, is I noticed that the, the, the washi was really sticky, and I should have like ran it over my hand or something before I put it down, because you could see how it's like really sticking. So on the second, when I'm cutting the um, right side of the washi, I went ahead and used my um, X-Acto knife like I usually do. And yes, I did guys. You're seeing it right. I ripped my page. <laughs> oh, I was just saying how delicate the wa the Hobonichi paper is. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we keep going, right? <laughs> it happens. So I just now I'm gonna start using my scissors, <laughs> not my exacto knife when I have a really sticky washi. And then on the top of the book or pages, I'm gonna use this really pretty like pastel and white um, pink, pastel pink and white striped did washi. Um, Cause I think it matches perfectly with the bottom washi it has like stripes in her bathing suit and then pink, the perfect shade that matches this um, washi um, on her flamingos, on the little flamingos there. So I'm gonna cut it using my scissors. <laughs> 
and just put that down. Another little tip or trick that I wanted to share with you guys, if you are stamping an image onto like washi or like a slippery surface, um, you want to use stays on ink because um, it will it will come off. It won't stay on that. But I didn't really like the way the image came out. I mean, it wasn't bad. So what I did was I stamped it on sticker paper instead, and then I'll just lay that one over the original, and there you go. No problem, it's fixed. And then what I love about clear stamps is that you can kind of like lay the little stamp page over your book or page wherever you're gonna stamp to get kind of an idea of where you want to place your images. So again, using the cutting mat, and I place the little swan and then ink her up and when I um, clean my stamps I just use water and a paper towel like a wet paper towel um, they say that you could use you know um, wipes baby wipes as long as they're alcohol free I haven't used those because I'm worried about messing up my um, stamps but yeah you just go ahead and lay it down wherever you like and it works fine so anyways, I grabbed my stencils because I also wanted to um, add a little header at the top and I'm just getting the stencils and seeing which stamp set will fit inside of my banner. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the stencil down. And then another little trick or um, if you are new to stamping um, and you don't want the whole image, like this image says to do list but I didn't want list so I just inked the to do part. The pink didn't come out very um, dark, so I went ahead and did it in blue. Plus, I wanted to bring some of the blue from the bottom towards the top of the page to keep it kind of even. And I think it came out pretty cute. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my June sticker. Now I made a sticker out of it. And that way I can cover up my little snafu <laughs> up there. I don't think it was too bad. It's just the image wasn't very clear. I always keep my stickers in a little white um, 5x8 binder and I can do a stamp storage if you're interested but these little stamps are super cute they're like they're from Sweet Kawaii Designs most of my stickers are that's my favorite stamp shop and I thought the image was so cute with that little line um, across it went perfect with my stamps another little trick that you can do if you want to use um, like a 3D effect is you get repositionable, repositionable sticky like glue and then you create sort of like a little mask and then when you ink up an image and you stamp it over the images you already have it kind of creates a 3D effect and that's what I wanted for the water the little um, pond that they're sitting in I kind of wanted it to look like they're in the water so I made these little masks um, to cover them up and then it didn't come out that dark, which is fine with me because I wanted to color it in with my pencils to kind of give it a more um, dimensional look by adding like lighter colors in certain areas. And I think it looks really cute. I think they came out so cute. And I like the idea of adding the uh, water. I didn't, I wasn't planning to do the water until I started looking at it. And I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna add a little pond for them to be sitting in so they're not like floating in the middle of the air <laughs> but it looks so cute they just came out so adorable the baby and the mama Aww. and then another little tip that I wanted to share with you guys is that um, if you accidentally like I did here learn from my mistakes because I made so many <laughs> um, if you get some of the ink onto your image like I got some of the blue from the water onto my swan um, I tried to take it off with like a, the pencil and then I tried to like rub it off with my finger but when I got the eraser it did come right off so I don't know if it's because like I used the white see how it, like smeared the blue ink and I tried to take it off but the eraser worked and it took it completely off so then I went ahead and colored my image and I'm using um, a light gray um, Crayola pencil and I'm just using Crayola pencils to color in my images um, to give it more of a dimen give my little swan a more dimensional like her feathers and then that's the same thing that I'm gonna do to my words and my um, my days and my month I'm gonna color like an ombre so I colored the bottom of the word 
um, a little bit darker than the top of the word. So all I'm doing is using like holding my pencil really, really light at the top part and then putting or adding a little bit more pressure at the bottom. So that way June comes out kind of ombre and you'll see here how I do it. But yeah, if you guys like these videos, let me know um, in the comments below. What do you guys do? Have you guys had any experience with stamping in your Hobonichi weeks? Um, this is like my first time. I tried a couple stamps just to test it out to see which ones bleed. But other than that, I haven't really stamped in any of my hobos. So I really wanted to check this out. If you like this, guys, please give me a thumbs up and stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but yeah, I stuck it on sticker paper and I'm going to go ahead and stick it down. And that's my spread for this week, guys. Until next time, happy planning. Bye.